So starting off, this is a, a 6012 Mud Dog, six gallon at 3,500 psi. It's on a six by 12 tandem axle trailer, two 3,500 pound axles, and you've got one brake axle. Your breakaway axle system is on the front of the trailer. Uh, you've got safety chains, and this is your hookup for your breakaway axle. What you want to do is put this in with one of your S hooks around the, the bottom of your tow hitch. If that breaks away, it'll lock down the, uh, the electric brakes. The other part of your electric brakes is controlled through your lights, which is a seven circular. You've got a fold away jack where you pull the pin, after you get hooked up, folds up. Uh, the main power pack of the unit is a 6012 20 horsepower, six gallon a minute, 3500 PSI. You've got two 15 gallon fuel tanks, diesel for your burner system, gas for your engine. You've got a 12 volt deep cycle marine battery, and then you've got a general pump. Your engine has an hour meter underneath the key switch. When you cut it on, this one says 0.2 hours. There's a little red dot here, LED light, that will uh, illuminate when you get to 50 hours. And that is your, uh, your time to change your oil for your service interval. Uh, when it comes on, you've got two hours for that light to come on. After you change your oil, it will uh, reset itself. Uh, you got your throttle control. You want to keep that throttle at 3450. This engine charges the battery which cuts the burner on. So you want to run that right where that throttle set at 3450. Your pump takes 30 weight non-detergent pump oil. But it only needs to be changed every 200 hours. Um, this is your sight glass. You want to make sure that that sight glass, that oil is either clear, amber, maybe even brown. If it gets white, that means you've got moisture in it and we need to, we need to, to change it. This is your water filtration filtration system. All you've got to do is take a number 10 metric Allen wrench. There's a uh, there's a 10 micron strainer in it that'll catch any debris that comes out of your tank. So right now you can see that we've pulled some debris in there. And so it's gotten any of the debris that would have gotten in your pump. It's protected your pump. So you want to clean that once a week, once a month, depending on how many hours you are. Uh, and just clean that with your hand, make sure that it's good. The other side of your filter is your blowout valve. What that is, is it's like a valve stem on a tire. You hook compressed air to it to blow your system out in the winter time. You close your valve from your water tank, push air, and it'll blow all the water out, both of those uh, hoses on the back of your, uh, on, on your reels so that any of the water that's in the system is purged so there's nothing to freeze, expand, and bust. So that's how you protect it from freezing. Above your pump, you've got nozzle storage. You've got a 65 degree, which is a chemical nozzle, low pressure, a zero degree red, 15 degree yellow, 25 degree green, and 40 degree white nozzle. The spray patterns are indicated underneath the nozzle. Above that, you've got your thermostat. This controls your temperature. Um, it goes up to 248, but really this unit has got 180 degree temperature rise. So in the summertime, if your water is 80 degrees in the tank, it's gonna go up 180 degrees. In the wintertime, when it's a little cooler, it'll still go up, but it won't get you know as hot because of the, the water coming in. This is your master burner switch. You wanna make sure you cut that off or it'll stay illuminated. And that's kind of telling you, you cut it off when the engine's off. Um, as far as your Beckett burner system on the side, the only thing that you need to know is you do have an inline fuel filter. It will catch any debris. We recommend you change that fuel filter every 50 hours, just uh, the same service interval as changing your oil. And uh, yeah, diamond plate step fenders, where you can step on these. We do recommend that you do not step on your light bar. They will support, but they're not meant as a, uh, as a step fender. So you can't step on the tray. The back of your tank, you've got a 35 gallon chemical tank equipped with a vent. Uh, this one just has a plug on the bottom where you can unhook your, uh, unscrew your cap, put your chemical in, and it's designed to where you can run your chemical lines from your injectors to your tank. And we'll get to that in a minute. This customer has also got um, two types of chemical. The Ultimate House Watch, which is our number one selling product for cleaning any exteriors of homes, wood, vinyl siding, uh, porches, roofs, anything on the exterior of homes. The only thing that you want to uh, be mindful of is 
you don't want it to dry on glass. So if you wet it down beforehand, and how I do everything is any vegetation I'll wet down, apply the chemical, uh, and then rinse back, and I'll rinse the vegetation as well because it has sodium in it. it there is a chance it can brown some, some plants, but any kind of mold, mildew, algae, weather film, it makes it brings services back to them. And then also you've got your equipment wash. This is your Answer 61 Brown Equipment Wash. It is a degreasing truck wash. You can wash any painted surfaces with it. We're going to wash, uh, actually, my truck today has a demo. It needs it. And uh, this equipment wash, you can degrease with it, wash any kind of belly pans, hydraulic hoses, anything, uh, logging equipment, tractor trailers, anything. When you want to set up your trailer unit, you want to make sure you get on level ground just so that your water will prime in your pump and also your low oil sensor will not affect your engine. If that engine is tilted back, if you're on a hill, it could affect that, that smart plug uh, for your low oil sensor and uh, cuts the ignition off. So you got a lock on your hose reel. We're going to unlock these. Unlock your bottom one and pull these hose out to your desired length. The Mud Dog comes with three different wads. A three foot, a four foot dual lance one, and a 79 inch one. We're going to hook up the, the the dual lance and the service wing right now to demonstrate the proper cleaning process. So you put your, your trigger lock on. You're going to go to your unit and I'm going to choke the unit. Cut it on position.
that. What we're doing is we got the same PSI, but we're cutting our GP in the half. So it's going to feel a little bit less perfect. Your round circular tips are the three down a minute. So the three on 1503. So what you're going to do is put that tip in, and you can see the difference in the orifice size between the two. The three gun men have a much smaller orifice. So when you pull this trigger, drain which comes in handy to fill up buckets and also to wash your hands when you're done with the job. 